hello everyone Larry back with you again and what I'm doing today is just giving you my opinion of the steel MS 220 C battery powered chainsaw now this is the largest battery powered saw in the steel line and I just want to uh, give you my opinion of it today kind of show you some of the uh, the features and uh, so join us over the next few minutes and we'll take a look at this uh, little saw take a look at how it performs as far as sawing is concerned and then I'll go into some of the details about the saw itself with you the uh, steel MSA 220 C battery powered chainsaw come on join us for this video today Okay folks, what I'd like to show you is my uh, chainsaw fleet that we have here at St. Nick's Farms. And I'm going to start with my biggest saw. Uh, of course all of these are steel. And this is the steel MS-291. Uh, I use this saw here for uh, felling trees, bucking up trees, and, and just anything as far as larger work is concerned. Then I have my steel MS-180 saw. This is, a, this is a dandy little saw that I've had for some time. Actually this saw was my dad's and uh, when he passed away well I wanted his saw. Then I've got this steel MS-170 pretty much similar to the MS-180 uh, not quite as powerful as the 180 but still a dandy little saw uh, this saw here is just like brand new I have the uh, combi system the steel MS-130R which with this system comes the chainsaw attachment or the pruning attachment so I have to give credit where credit is due. But what I want to talk to you about today is this little saw here. This is uh, a steel MSA 220C. I use this saw for my, uh, my smaller trimmings. In fact, in just a little bit I'm going to uh, do a little bit of demonstration on it. Both showing some of the larger uh, cutting that you can do with it and some of the uh, what I use it for the most. This saw uses it's a 36 volt saw or 36 volt system. I have the uh, AP300 battery and these batteries of course are equipped with the indicators that show you the amount of charge that's on it and in just a minute we'll go in and I'll show you the charging system that goes with the saw but right now let me uh, let me talk to you about some of the things about the saw itself okay the first thing about this uh, this saw it's equipped with a 16 inch bar on the saw again it is a 36 volt system has two sizes of batteries I have the AP 300 and uh, that's I think at the present time the largest battery as far as amperage and everything and run time that um, this saw will accept it has the chain brake a great safety feature just like uh, your regular chainsaw and this is also where I put the saw when I'm not using it or when I carry it in the um, saw hall of the tractor here is our oil reservoir for chain lubricant uh, again this is just like your 
your regular saw. As far as the controls on it, it has your throttle safety switch on the side and then of course your throttle here. Basically to operate this saw you're going to unlock the chain brake, mash the throttle safety switch and pull the throttle. I always keep the chain brake off and in that way even if you accidentally uh, mash the safety switch or mash the throttle the saw won't run. It also has a metal gripping teeth. The smaller size under this doesn't have the metal gripping teeth it just has the, uh, the gripping teeth that are molded and I don't know if you can see them or not but they're molded into the housing of the saw but this saw here has the metal gripping teeth. Let me, uh, let me take you now and just uh, show you the, the charging system for this saw, the, the battery charger, and how that works. Okay, here we have the charger for this, um, this system. And as you can see, I have two batteries. I've got a, a backup and then the one that I just the one that I just took out of the saw. Before I talk more about this, let me just mention this battery here in this charger. Um, maybe I can hold it up and you can see. I've got the uh, steel BGA57 uh, blower and this also a 36 volt system, but the AK20 is the battery for this uh, this leaf blower or blower and this is the charging charger for this battery again this is the charger for the uh, AP300 battery and one of the things if you noticed a while ago in fact let me let me just I want you to listen you're gonna say what am I listening for this charger is going on the um, charger for the chainsaw I want you to listen when I plug it in and you can see from the flashing lights that the uh, battery is being charged at the present time but what I was wanting you to hear this charger here has a cooling fan on it. It is putting out quite a bit of amperage and it may be that the terminals uh, when charging this battery get warmer or do get warm, maybe even get, uh, get hot and so this charger here, this charging system's got a uh, basically a cooling fan or a cooling system on it and when the battery gets fully charged the charger will shut down of course the fan will go off, the charger will shut down and even though uh, it's, it's not hurting your battery any or hurting the charger once it does shut down I always make sure that I take the battery out of the charger and I don't know, I don't know the uh, the aspects, pros, cons of doing that. But it just for me, uh, I want to think that it's better to take the battery out after uh, after it gets fully charged. And you'll notice it's already uh, flashing the third light here. Okay, folks, what I've got here is two of two saws. This one is my steel MS-170 and then I have the steel MSA-220C battery powered chainsaw. That's gasoline. This is battery. Now 
This saw hasn't been cranked in a few days. In fact, several days. So let's go through the process of cranking it. Even though it did crank and even though it was uh, cold, uh, it took a while, as you noticed, to pull the starter rope and get it to crank. How many of you have ever experienced this with your saw? I know you have. Most of us have. Now again, I did not have the switch on on that saw, but for sake of making a point, I wanted to do it that way. Now let me show you. For those of us who are older and bones and muscles don't work like they used to, again, this is the steel MSA 220 battery powered saw. So let me show you what what we do. I'm going to uh, pull off the chain brake, mash the starter, um, the throttle button, safety button in. I don't know about you, but that's a lot easier for me to do for the small stuff. Okay, so there you have it, folks. It's getting uh, getting dark on us late in the day, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to talk about the uh, the battery powered. In fact, I have gone to a lot of battery equipped or battery powered equipment here on the farm. It just is so convenient to uh, to pick it up and. And me to, don't have to worry about trying to crank it or in the case of the power tools trying to connect an extension cord or connect a power to it. It's just a matter of, of picking it up and, and getting, getting started. This saw here, as I've already said, uh, just is a great addition to the lineup of saws that we have here at St. Nick's Farm. So 
Thank you so much for joining us today. I really do appreciate it. And as I always say, if you're a first-time viewer of the channel, and you know, you can, you can view the video and not be a subscriber, view the video and not subscribe. But I would certainly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video that you're watching, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to share the video with a friend on YouTube. And um, if, if you will, when you subscribe, the little bell, ding the little bell. And what that does, it notifies you when we have another video here on St. X Farms channel. So again, thank you so much for joining us. You honor me by viewing our channel and I, I want you to know that I really appreciate that. I don't know exactly when you will be watching this video but hopefully before Christmas and if it's before Christmas I want to take this opportunity to, to wish you and your friends and family a very Merry Christmas and if it's after Christmas I want to take this opportunity to wish you and your friends and family a very happy and prosperous new year. That's our wishes and our prayers for you for the coming 2022. So again, thank you so much folks for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you the next time. And until then, this is Larry and everybody here at St. Nick's Farms. Two kitty cats, Pippa and Gertie, and of course, my wife Jenny. And uh, for all of us here at St. Nick's Farms, bye-bye, everybody. See you next time. Take care.